guys, Cruel Blind Wave, I'm Eric. I'm Rick. I'm Calvin. Aaron. And we are here with a movie reaction, finally. This is Edge of Tomorrow. This was voted yes. at the uh, over at our Patreon by the good people that support us there. Um, this is a sequel yeah. to Saved by the Bell, right? It's alright. Because they're like, standing on the edge of tomorrow. Yeah, you're right. Today, today. I believe it is. Uh, if that were the actual title, but they've retroactively changed this title <laughs> to Live, Die, Repeat, which they haven't. I, I was looking up some stuff last night, and the, the guy's like, no, no, it's called Edge of Tomorrow. That's just the tagline. But I, I think marketing was like, no one liked that title. We're changing it. Because <laughs> if you look this up one, we're watching this on Amazon Prime, it very much says Live, Die, Repeat, colon, Edge of Tomorrow. Was that not the title of the book? Uh, no, the book... Uh, I can't remember exactly what the name of the book is. It is by a Japanese author, I believe, the book. But uh, I have seen this movie. Who else has seen this movie? Not me. Nope. Answer! Yes, you've seen it. I, I don't have an answer. I haven't seen it. <laughs> what do you mean? That's the answer. Uh, so, <laughs> Like, who ate today? You just say, no. I have or I haven't. Oh. You were a difficult child, weren't you? <laughs> well, I, I wasn't either. Anyway, so I have seen this movie. I really, really enjoyed it. I watched it in theaters, I think, when it came out. But uh, we were super excited to especially have Calvin watch this movie because Calvin... Yeah, couldn't watch this without me. He ended up watching Mask of Zora. Yeah, I know. I'm sorry. But you've ah! seen Zora. You hey, haven't you know seen what? this. That shit with the... Ah! Yep. You guys do that all wrong. We do. <laughs> we don't! No, he does we... that! He does it. It's just out of order and it's not as perfect It's not, it's not the same. It doesn't go, you never be right of me! I know. Ah! That's not how it goes. <laughs> I was like, oh, hey, it's kind of like the thing you guys do. Like, maybe the real one comes up later. You're like, nope, that's it. No, oh, we've okay. exaggerated it for years, but that's how things, that's how legends start. Um, maybe we'll start a legend today. Maybe we will, yes. Legend uh, of Tom Cruise? Legend of Tom Cruise. Um, so this is a uh, movie reaction that you are able to actually watch the entire full-length reaction along with us over at our Patreon. It is a reward that we offer. Uh, we are watching this on Amazon Prime, so you can sync up. Watch it along with us. And it should, I think there's only one cut of this movie. So you should be able to sync it up with any oh, version. Oh, good. I like when there's only one cut of a movie because it makes it easier to know which cut you're watching. Tom That's Cruise true. gets it right the first time. Man, it's like that one scene in Daredevil. Well, Rick, what you just said, I think, might be the exact opposite of what this movie is going to be. While it is an honor, General, I'm afraid I have to depart. I can't stand the sight of blood. Not so much as a paper cut. <laughs> <laughs> This guy is not having any of it. But, uh, <clears throat> sit, sitting here thinking about this. Uh, this guy is also not a fan of Tom Cruise. <laughs> Just time that I feel I could recommend to you. It's not an offer, Major. An order. Hmm. The rest of this man. <laughs> what the hell? Want to go. It's a, a bold move. Well, he just tried to blackmail. I tell you, what. running. One thing Tom Cruise can do is run. Yeah, but he didn't. It <laughs> he was not far. No, I mean, like, he always just looks like he's he's got to run somewhere, you know? Right there, he's like... <laughs> <laughs> Name's Farrell. That's right. Master Sergeant Farrell. Master Sergeant Farrell's an American. No, sir. I'm from Kentucky. <laughs> <laughs> well, what? <laughs> Look where I am. After you. You're not taking me to phone, are you, Sergeant? No, I'm not. Seems about the only honest thing you've said to me so far is your name. Since here, you're a deserter. You're not in uniform, Private. Can you eat a card? Uh, one time, uh, this one girl, Heather, in our, uh, I think it was an American history class, passed a note. And the teacher saw it, and the teacher had a thing where, like, if you were caught, caught passing a note, you had to read the whole thing. She ate it, so she didn't have to read it. Ate the whole paper. Holy shit. <laughs> That's fucking awesome. <laughs> She's like, you better eat that whole thing, because I'm waiting for it. <laughs> she sat there and chewed it all up. Oh, his is a little different. Look at that. What the? Is he He's naked? Uh, Why does he got to be naked? Well, is he naked? I'm not naked. He was wearing underwear. He's naked. It's a jock oh, strap. What the hell, Calvin? I you lied to me. I saw underwear in the front. It's a jock strap. Jesus, Calvin, you never did sports in your high school? No. You know that. Stop asking stupid questions, Aaron. Oh my god. This is cool. 
Damn, they are just gonna drop them. Can they land because of the metal, or do they have jets, or what? Oh, this is gonna not go well. Jeez. And you waited until you were over the water again? <laughs> oh, oh, he doesn't know how to. Oh my god. Not long enough. Oh shit. Oh my god. <laughs> that guy's on fire. He is. on fire. I don't get the point of him having to be out of here. Is he's not? I don't see no news crew. He doesn't have a news crew anymore. He's demoted. Yeah, he, he lost that chance. Uh, Brandon Gleason was petty. Is what happened. <clears throat> uh oh, let's, let's go faster. Let's go faster. Let's go faster. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> they look so tiring. These suits, don't they? Yeah. yeah. It, look, it looks like they're walking around through snow. Shit. Oh, is this? Full metal uh, bitch. Full metal bitch, you're right. <laughs> she just has a sword. Shit. Is she dead? Fuck. She's dead. Oh, damn. Just a bunch of dust. She's gonna kill them by accident because he doesn't know what to do. Oh, shit. Oh shit! Dude, those things move so fast. They do. Like little tornadoes. Jeez. It's like a symbiote or something, you know? Just... Yeah. Push the red button. There it is. Oh, the shit. first. Did he kill it? Everyone else died, though. Oh shit. Pretend you're dead. That's a big one. Look at that. It really does That's look a really big one. Damn! <laughs> what the hell? Oh wait, do they have acid blood or some shit? Yeah. Well yeah! I'm just gonna suspect that. It's an alien thing, not a alien thing. I was agreeing with you! Oh. Full metal bitch. On your feet, maggots! Watch your back out there, sir. No one else will. Jeez, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> so easily amused. Yeah. Move, run! Well, oh, dead again. Saw him this time. Yeah. Maybe he survived. I don't know. You think he just picks it up? Oh, thanks, buddy. We <laughs> said that last time. <laughs> Took his battery. Holy yeah. Well, fuck, man. He was dead anyway. So. Yep. You have no I love the editing of the days so far. What am I gonna tell you? It sounds crazy. It's true. And you have to listen to me. Your very lives depend on it. <sighs> I'm also cocky right now, but no. What is he saying? Man, he has to relive on so much of this like, over and over. How did he get him to, get, to understand? I think he did disengage without hitting the thing. That he time. did, yeah. Did he die? He did. Ah! <laughs> he did. There we go. Oh my gosh, we're back in again. Uh huh. How do you say that guy without you dying too? You gotta do it faster. You gotta do it faster. You gotta learn. He's running a lot better too. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Don't wanna go too fast. Uh, you gotta pay fucking attention! Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm trying to save you. We're getting slaughtered. You need to get us off this beach. <laughs> Well, we've obviously missed a couple. Has he done this before? Uh -huh. Yep, must have. 
go now. <coughs> what are you doing? Find me when you wake up. What? Come she knows. When you wake up. What well, shit? Is he gonna roll underneath the thing? Oh my gosh. Oh, oh, oh he got that ran one over. Up. Fuck. What the hell were you thinking? <laughs> <laughs> uh, he was done before. He's ready to go under it, but they didn't. He hasn't done enough. He's opened a lot of room for experiment. <laughs> Please just explain to me what the hell is happening. What happened to you happened to me. I had it. I lost it. Okay. I lost it. There's a cure. How do I get rid of this? Best thing we do. With what exactly? So there can only be one person? Winning the war. Let's go, come on. Hmm. <clears throat> or maybe... So she used to have a, the reliving day by day. Mm-hmm. But now she doesn't. Which is why she died. But how does she know? I mean, she had a, a, a day where she killed hundreds, you know? And that was not today. Miss Laura, this is a terrific presentation. <laughs> <laughs> terrific. I know the general. You should take this to him. You just tell him everything you told me. I went to see the no. general cage any number of times. Psych ward, dissection, remember? <coughs> Has she been dis dissected? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm not even trained for combat. You gotta train him for combat, huh? We got time. We have time when we got a day. <laughs> but how many days? It's cut in half here. No, 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 no. I woke up in a field hospital with three pints of someone else's blood, and I was out. I lost the power. Do you understand? I think we better start over, don't you? Right. <laughs> <laughs> no one knows what so happened. Don't survive the day. I think I'm okay. <laughs> <laughs> I can still feel my toes. Vision. It's in the dam. In the meantime, we need to figure out a way to get us off that beach. Get us off the beach. Mm -hmm. Like steal a truck and drive. Get them from the beach in France to the mountains in Germany. Whoa, Whoa. look at these mortar shot things from the mimics. Training did not look complete. Explosion. I'm gonna run 30 paces northwest. I'm gonna duck at the top of that trench and then I'm gonna turn left. Damn, she's dead all the time. Mm-hmm. Have I got something on my face? I'm gonna close my eyes. Ready? Oh, I didn't mind the extra push ups. <laughs> <laughs> Needs to use them. Help them lead to what. Yeah, I need to train them. Need to have them like lead the way and they can have like six people like pushing through like football. Are they attacking the town too? Well, they won on the beach. Oh shit. You gotta die, man. Now he's trained. Mm -hmm. I mean, at some point he's gonna go faster, right? Yeah, if he... I guess as long as he doesn't lose his blood, right? Good I forgot to unhook the trailer. Yep, she did. Jeez. Oh! 
These things are crazy. I know. Ha <laughs> ha! There's more! more. Now it's on fire. Those got fire. Those guns are. I like the way they're like. Yeah. Sh 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 <laughs> okay. Fine. Now they unhook the trailer. Let me see. Got shot in the van when we were being attacked or whatever. Or stabbed. Got stabbed, yeah. Oh. Okay. You start that engine you got. How does she die? Better make sure you die. Now he's killing him with axes. What's something on my face, Sandy? He's just gonna leave her. Well, you know she dies. Sorry, it's just your research. Yeah. He hasn't tried this way, where he goes by himself. True. But she dies on the field anyway, yeah, so yeah. like... Hmm. He's got a teddy bear on it, I didn't know Yeah, he's had a teddy bear. Oh, dude, he just let him know. die! He did. He can't save everyone. So he's saving no one. This place on fire? On fire. Preemptive attack before he starts the helicopter. Yeah. Still got a suit. Without her. Yeah. Oh yeah, he asked for an extra battery. Yeah. Huh? I mean, at some point, it must know what's happening, right? What's, oh, yeah. Yeah. it's an alpha. Like if it found him, you know? Yeah. If he found them, I should say. He didn't do it because the alpha. That's was why there. it's not killing him. It was bait. It should have been right there, right? Yeah, baiting him in for some reason. Taking the power back. Oh, no. oh, it doesn't want him to die. Because it resets it. Mm -hmm. Transponder requires a live alpha to make it work. We don't need one. We got the next best thing. And certain to him because he's got the power already. Mm -hmm. and yeah. delegation comes out, you pick up the pace. Yeah. I wonder how many times it takes I don't know. to I don't finish. Those are my things. Like, how many times have they done... Yeah. Any of this stuff. I know. Like, I, I love how the movie plays with, like, what, do you, what does he know, what does he do, doesn't, you know? Like, you might have tried this a hundred times. <laughs> be such a weird thing. I was like, well, how much do I believe? Do I believe it? Do I not believe it? Don't okay. shoot him again. <laughs> <laughs> is there where she just shot him? General, this, this is the first time we've had this conversation. That's it. Because you're, you're stubborn. What do we do now? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I've never gotten this far. Is it easy? No! No. Well, shit. Yep. Stick it in your leg. Do I like this thing. Stick it in your leg, Aaron. You gotta really ram it in. Whoa, his eyes turned black. So they get to that wavelength. Whoa, yep. it's like all slow. This is like Maybe. Fast and Furious. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> <laughs> what do you drift for? Oh, shit. He's that bleeding and unconscious. Good. He's not gonna get a power anymore. But he knows where it is. So now he has to do it with no his last try. game save. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Oh, his eyes are black. Oh, the power must have faded, maybe. I mean, that's what that's supposed to be. No, it was crazy enough to follow us to Paris. J Squad. Well, can, can, can you just go back to the field and kill that blue guy again and get the blood all up on him? It'd be risky. It'd be pretty risky. Tanks. We've been looking everywhere for you. Just listen. Almost strong, so play up. Plus, they might be aware of Just Maybe, listen. yeah. Oh, no. This is it. Oh, 
Oh, they got 10. Jeez, man. They were distractions now. Jesus! Uh-huh. He's gonna die! Oh, oh my god. Oh, oh my god. Oh. <laughs> That's a really cool shot, though. No, Rita! Oh, wow. Oh, fuck. Damn. Fuck! Fuck! Oh. Fuck! <laughs> I know! There it is. There it is! Oh, shit. Oh, it swims so fast. It's like drilling through the water. Like its tentacles are like propellers and shit. Oh, he's been stabbed. Dude, look at that thing. No one inside. <laughs> it's all one organism. Yeah, it's like a hive. It's like a hive mind. Survives. It sucks. Like no one will know the truth. I sure, guess right. Scientists are still alive. Yeah, but they saved the invasion, so they saved a lot of lives, right? Yeah. Except for J Squad. I mean, this would have been the last battle of the war. What the hell? No, he's the Omega. It's blood. Is it carrying him up, or is it doing something else to him? It's doing something else to him. What the hell? No, he's the Omega. Is he gonna reset? No. We gotta do it all again. No, we don't. This is different. Where the hell are we now? Oh, wait. This is when he flew in before. Yep. Wow. How would we go back here? Well. And now we gotta do it all again? Well, I mean. This maybe, time he's not gonna blackmail the general. Maybe he's in control. I guess. And he keeps his officer position and he can, like, hey, guys, we're gonna lead this. Here we go. Follow yeah. me. That'd, that'd be the best case scenario, I suppose. But maybe he, maybe now he's gonna think it's all a dream because he woke up in a different position. All right. Edge of tomorrow. Or live, die, repeat. Sure, yeah. I did not know anything about this movie. Yeah. I thought it was just like Returnal, where he was like on a planet alone. Okay. He was going back and living it again. Sure. So. What'd you guys think? I knew, no that, I knew there was like a relive aspect. Yeah. And I remember like him in like a mech suit like fighting, but mm -hmm. I didn't remember like, I don't know, like, creatures or how the general story and plot and stuff went. Like, Aliens. Anything. You're like, yeah. The alien things are crazy and scary. They're also, though, it's like, um, Damn, I can't remember what it was called. There was a game I played for Scream Stream a while back that was also like a remake of a, another one. And it had mimics in it, though. And they move very similar to those. But it's very, oh, Prey. Yeah. Prey, that's it. Yeah. Yeah. So gotcha. the mimics remind me of that. But like, they're like mimic. I don't know why they call them mimics. I guess because they hide on the ground? I don't know. They, they didn't really have a mimicky feature except for the fact that they just moved like. Yeah, they didn't do any like voice changing or like appearance changing or anything like that they yeah just hit on the ground there's one thing in the Maybe beginning because they m mimicked an asteroid strike or meteor strike i don't, I don't know, know. <laughs> there was something in the beginning in the news when they were talking about mimic and humans and yeah. different things and i'm like oh mimics okay well what are these things gonna look like mm -hmm. where are they gonna be and i imagine them like pretending to be humans and yeah. stuff and then it kind of screws with you in the war and whatnot but I mean, sometimes a name just catches on for no reason, you know? I mean, they moved, like I said, like in Prey. Like, yeah. the mimics moved like that, but then they would take the shape of something else. These ones just kind of, like, bury themselves in the ground and would yeah. hide, you know? So Yeah. Like, if, if they would have gotten to, like... The closest it came was, like, when they were on the minivan, and they were, like... they Though they came out of the ground, and then they were in the trailer, but if they'd have been the trailer, you know? <laughs> <Yeah>. Like, <laughs> that would have been, like, a mimic, you know? Yeah. So. But, no, I mean, my favorite thing about it is probably... I like in the segment when we're really going through like the reliving and dying aspects and like the editing for a lot of it is yeah. pretty good. I really enjoy the editing. I like that a lot because like it just kind of like great smash cuts. It's just bam, bam, yeah. bam. Get up, maggot! Especially <laughs> later on in, in some of the parts and stuff yeah. too. Though it does, there is this point when you're like, well, what does he know? What doesn't he know? As far as like what he's lived through and what he hasn't. Yeah. It's like when they're going like, well, let's take this shit and go and yeah. get it from wherever it's hidden, you know, in Whitehall or whatever. You know? mm -hmm. Then there's like, all right, there's this, 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 this. I like the, I like seeing like them like sneak in, yeah, and him like doing like the dance, of, like, all right, spin, do this. No, I like that too. Like this. But. That's my favorite part of the movie is like you'll see him realize they gotta do something, and then it looks like they're going to do it for the first time, but he's actually probably done it a hundred times. You know, we just don't know. I just, I like the way that it sets up, pays off, 
And then you think, oh, they're at this farmhouse, and it's the first time. Where are those keys at? Well, he already knows. He's done this. He just has hit this point where he doesn't want to, you know, go on without her. Sure. Yeah. You know? He doesn't want her to die, yeah. So it keeps the it keeps everything guessing. But my favorite part about it is, like, when you get to the end, you've, like, you know, every movie, you're like, well, you could die at any point, but you're kind of thinking, like, yeah, but it's just a story. The main character has to survive or something like that. You know, this, like, demands you to take its stakes seriously by having – point where there's no stakes and then suddenly there is you know and you're just nervous even at every little thing like yeah but you don't have the safety net thing you know which if you really think about it well this is still a movie it's still a narrative they're still going to try to you know tell a good story and stuff but it like forces you to put yourself in a box of really worrying about the character you know our characters no, I, yeah, I like the way that the lore is handled and how mm-hmm. the whole thing works and the justification for being able to raise the stakes in the last act. Yeah. Like, well, you got like, your blood mixed with theirs. Yeah. And it you all know, explained this way. And I like the twist where if you kill an alpha, it's also going to reset. Mm-hmm. So that's the perfect thing to have it guard. Yeah. Yeah. Because if you kill it, then you fail. Yeah. And if you don't kill it, it probably kills you and you fail. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's just really, like, I don't know if they've developed this. Is it part of their species? Or did they develop this type of technology? But it's a really cool way to invade a planet. You just do it a million times until you get it right. But the the payoff, or the, uh, not the payoff, but the uh, the one thing is, make sure your alpha doesn't get caught, you know? Sure. And if you do, you just rewind it and redo it anyways. Like, yeah, think about how incredibly lucky he is that on his first day, he was killed by an alpha, you know? Or I should say, he killed an alpha. He, he, killed he had that, yeah. that claim where the guy had was, mm-hmm. was like that was just incredibly lucky. But it kind of goes back to that scene about you know, fate and destiny. Whenever they meet J Squad, you know, like which one is it? Is yeah. it is it destiny that he was the one that does this, or is it chance? Is it fate? Well, and like plays with those themes. Can it happen to more than one person at a time? Mm-hmm. That's yeah. what I was thinking too. Like, could Rita and him both have had it at the same time, yep. or yeah. someone else could have had it? Or- because, like, if that's the case, like, my first focus would be, okay, we need to kill alphas, get their blood, mm-hmm. mix it with as many people as possible. Yeah. So we have as many chances as possible. Yeah. The issue there, though, is, like, how does that work and what's the priority? Because, like, I imagine what it does is, like, as soon as one alpha dies, it resets. Yeah. So, like, if you have six of you and one of them dies, even though another one is pushing forward, then you're really hindering everyone pushing forward and learning yeah. anything new. It's like you're only as fast as you're quickest to die yeah like if all four of us were pushing through and then like oh i've already been here before i know what i'm doing but then like eric died and we all reset yeah. mm-hmm. and i didn't get any further information on my side you well know? yeah yeah i probably wouldn't give it to a soldier but maybe like to the scientists or mm-hmm. something see the one thing too is like it seemed to be more of the blood not like the day right so like does it just reset a day like if you would have lived through to the next day like is it a 24 hour span or, like, how does it work? Because they also had, like, talking about sleeping overnight at the, the farmhouse. So I was, like, I was wondering, like, I think is the reset like, point always here, yeah, I mean, regardless he, of how far he, he goes? He lived far enough to, like, see the invasion of London and stuff. Like, I, I think that... Yeah, but he, that was that day, though, right? Yeah, I know, but yeah. I, I think that he could theoretically, as long as he didn't die, or, I'm, sh- I'm sorry, didn't lose the blood, you know, I suppose he could keep going. Well, he could keep going, but he'd probably, in theory, reset to 24 hours. That's yeah. what I was wondering. Is but like but that, that isn't an option for him, because if he does that, then the world is lost. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because that war there, yeah. like, that day, he, he gets there, they launch that next yeah. morning or whatever, but he was over in London, sure. and they're like, well, shouldn't you be over there fighting? He's like, yeah. I'd be dead by now. It's yeah. so like, the, the invasion was happening then. No, I know. And yeah. London was getting attacked, like, at the same time, because they were pushing through. Like, his attack. limitation of time isn't necessarily, it's not have to do with the power, it has to do with the... The, what's going on sure you know? but like I was wondering so, like, he doesn't want to go past like that. I said the farmhouse with the coffee and stuff he was like why don't we go back there mm-hmm. you know we can rest there for the night go yeah. forward and it, it made me feel like okay well maybe he can yeah. like this is always the reset point this is where he's saved mm-hmm. yeah he can go I don't know that two, it's like three, a 24 four days hours. or anything you yeah. know like, but it always resets the back to him. his reset window yeah. cause yeah it just you know, wouldn't make it, sense it's possible that his body would eventually like filter out that blood we maybe you know. Well, uh, and it's probably likely that it's not even set to his timetable at all. Like it's a save point from the Omega. Yeah, it is probably. 
Maybe well, because at the, the end here, we, he goes back even further when he gets the Omega's blood on him, Yeah, right? and like it just happens to be when he wakes up on that base mm-hmm. is when the Omega created safe state. Yeah. Because mm-hmm. he inherits the power, and they want that power back. Or at any point where he was still out and from the taser. Mind it doesn't work anyway, because if they kill an Alpha to get the blood, it resets. So mm-hmm. you'd have to capture one, get the blood, and not kill it. Yep. Is the only way for it to work. Yes, yeah. And Rita specifically asks well, if he would, if you know, if he had killed one, right? Yeah, as yeah. he died, right. So, do you have to die and be killing it at the same time? Because you know, even with the Omega, he was dying and got the blood at the same time. I think it just has to mix with your blood. I, I guess know. if it happens that way, maybe the Omega doesn't know that you're not an Alpha, mm-hmm. sort of thing. Yeah, or like it's tracking you as the Alpha that died, mm-hmm. so it doesn't immediately know. Yeah. Um, but yeah, no, I mean, a lot, a lot of the lore aspects, like, I still have some questions on some of that kind of stuff, sure. but I liked, you know, they kind of, they explained a lot of, like, why, and there's, like, the hive mind aspect and different things, so everything kind of, I feel like, made sense as to why the aliens were, like, how they yeah. were, and why the people, you know, they had, I guess, the one girl in the giant metal outfit, and they're like, all right, everyone gets a giant metal outfit now, Yeah, you know, I, don't, I don't know, that's what it felt like, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. she has this one day she where prototype. she's fucking amazing, like, she's this amazing soldier all of a sudden in 24 hours, so yeah, we're going to continue to do that, and everyone else kind of sucks with it, because they don't have the training, you know? Yeah. Like, you could see, like... his whole message was, yeah. like, we took someone who had no combat experience, put them in this suit, and they did... Yeah. The work of a thousand soldiers. If we do this to everybody, think of what we can accomplish. Exactly. And that you can, was his whole shtick of recruiting people. Yeah. And he just sending lambs to the slaughter. Yeah. And you can purposely see, like, in the, you know, the, on the invasion, everyone that's running is running like two and a half miles an hour, you know? Yeah. Because they don't know it. But whenever you see them running later in the movie, well, they're going like 30 I, miles an I hour. I love the scene whenever, like, because we had the very first one when they're all in, like, that trench, and then the mm-hmm. thing digs out from underneath them. Yeah. But I love later on whenever, uh, what's his name, Bill? William? William Cage. When he's, like, running around the crater, <laughs> yeah. and he's like, ah! Yeah, just, I know. He's going so quick. Yeah. Well, and then they're yeah. just killing everything. Like, it signifies how new everything is, because one of the people in B-Squad is like, yeah, I've been in so many fights and battles. Yep. And he said, like, three? It was, it was or two or three, yeah. So, like... This stuff, yeah, it's really new, and no one's had enough time to train. I thought he said maybe. twenty. Did he say twenty? I thought he said twenty. I thought he, he might said. Have had, you're talking about Ford when they're running, right? I think so, yeah. But that's not. I don't know. I could have misheard too. Thousands. Yeah. It's also J Squad. D- like D Squad yeah. droids. Rita Star- and Cage oh. have. We don't know how many times Rita did it. Whenever it was her turn, but Cage, I have to guess, has done that. Like relive the same day. At least a thousand times, but probably tens of thousands. Right, you know, yeah. she at least lived it three hundred times. Three hundred well, times with that one. She also mentioned guy. about Hendrix and how she watched them die three hundred times, which yeah. I feel like is kind of related to like Tom, uh, his character, watching Rita, Rita die, die. Yeah. over and over and over, yeah. trying to do this stuff. And that's why, like at the farmhouse, he's yeah. like trying to avoid it and go around it and stuff. But, like how many times he died before he even like went to like go meet her or get to know her? Or sure, whatever, yeah. Too, you, like, know? you could have had a hundred deaths before yeah. he finally like. Saved her enough mm-hmm. to where, like, she said, come find me. Yeah. So did she make, like, a conscious decision, when I'm dying, I'm going to give him a phony middle name every time? Oh, the middle name thing? Yeah. I think she gave him a phony middle name. Before. Before, mm-hmm. but she gave him the real one there. Yeah. I think. Wow. It's like a cheat code. But to... if he's lived through it so many times and this always happens. She usually dies pretty quick. Well, I mean, we don't know that she died there, and that's when the, the, he was, she was told anything. Well, it's also possible that, like, that moment is when she fell in love with him, maybe? Yeah. I mean, she might have had a thing where it's like, let's have one thing that, you know, because there's always going to be that, like, okay, next time, to be able to get me on there quicker, here's a bunch of information you could say. She might give a fake middle name, you know? I have that in her head. I'm going to give a fake middle name. But when I really want to trust someone, I'll give them my real no name. I don't know. Something or, like that. Yeah, it's like, I'm not going to give you my middle name until I'm sure this is the end. Yeah. One way or another. Mm-hmm. I also partly felt in the car that he was, like, talking to her to be like, oh, you know, uh, we talk all the time. She's like, I don't talk to anybody. It's like, no, you know, you told me this and that. It's like, I don't have, I've never been there. Like, it could have been, like, him just, like, saying things and he's trying to get more information from her could and, like, trying to, like, just get her to open up. Like, you told me this story. It's like, I've never told you that before. And, like, she doesn't know. You know? Yeah. Like, 
So I, I don't know. Maybe she was lying. Maybe he was just making up, like, oh, you've told me this. And then because she thought that she had told him a fake name before when she was dying, she gave him the real middle name. You know, I don't know. I'm not really sure. But mm-hmm. it's good that they have the metal suits, too, because, like, you have to wonder he's going back. Like, give him the benefit of the doubt and assume he keeps, like, the muscle memory. Mm-hmm. Because maybe his entire brain or consciousness or whatever is going back. Yeah. But he doesn't have, like... He doesn't the, have the strength. Yeah. And the the learned agility. But I guess he would only have a day's worth of that anyway. As far as, like, the muscles and yeah. things yeah. like that goes. I would imagine he has muscle memory. He has... There's no actual muscle growth. There's no actual muscle growth. But he seems like he's in decent shape anyway, you know? Yeah. Tom Cruise. Tom Cruise, baby. Um, yeah. The the ending's a little weird, I think. I'm not sure. I don't know how I feel about the ending yet. Mm-hmm. Just because, like, they went through that, and then they reverted him back even further. Yeah. And then, like, everyone's like, just some shit happened over in Paris. Yeah. We don't know. I and mean, like, everything we know weird. about him, too, is just an assumption. We're hoping that this is as close as possible to reality, but we don't know what happens when an Omega dies and you get its blood. Sure, yeah. You know? Like, I don't, I don't know. And, like, does he still but have like, the power? But, like, the Omega still... seems to have died and its its death is fixed as opposed to, you know... Well, I, I, don't, I have no, I, I, no idea. his power was taken. I have no idea on what happened. Exactly. Because, well, like, d- it, does, does he have an ability now or can he... Yeah. And, and they theorize that there are others of these. Yeah. So who's to say he's not just part of one larger hive mind? Yeah. Yeah, because they mentioned like other like the asteroids. Omega is just another alpha mm-hmm. for but, a, a greater Omega. Well, yeah. there's more asteroids out there too that could be, and it could be I don't know, it could be one bigger Omega, like an alpha, and this is the Omega, and it, you know the alpha controls the Omegas. I don't know. Maybe because he's now an Omega, he can create alphas. J Squad with yeah. alphas in the, like, in the sequel. Like, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I just wonder like how it's set up for like if there's like a bigger something out there. Or, yeah, I don't know. sure. But yeah, just the ending there was like. All right, so just that did happen, but it didn't happen. Mm-hmm. Cause I thought we were like, well, if we were rewind and all that stuff, everything's back. Yeah, but it's, but it's not, I guess. So no, the something about it, the Omega, when it dies, it dies at its reset point or something. I don't know. Yeah, no, oh, that's weird. Like, I don't know what happened to the Alpha after he died, because I guess we never saw that same Alpha again that he killed in the first time. Yeah, right. Yeah. What doesn't make sense to me is like when he. Like, the first time he went into battle, and he killed the Alpha, the, the alpha mm-hmm. and it reset time, it mixed with his blood then. So the body that died had the mixed blood, mm-hmm. but then he goes back to, goes back in time to another body, yep. a fresh body, that doesn't have mixed blood, yep. and yet he can die from that point without having killed an Alpha, mm-hmm. and it still resets time. Yeah, sure. Yeah. So it, it must be some kind of, like... It's got to be more than just consciousness. More than just mm-hmm. consciousness, yeah. yeah. It has to be... It's, yeah, like, it's it's such an advanced technology, military technology, that it's magic to us. There must be a reason, we just don't know it. I don't even know if I'd call it technology. Like, there's nothing to really say that it's, those It could just be are, biology. There's yeah, nothing to say there's a technology physiology. at all. True. You know? Because it seems to be instinct with this thing. I mean, again, we just don't know. Yeah. It could be a lot of different things. It could be, I don't know, they're having a picnic. <laughs> I don't know. Uh-huh. <laughs> what? They're having a picnic? Trying to think of the most ridiculous thing you can think of. And I did. What you got? Picnic. They pitched their picnic blanket on Earth. Uh, whoever said about the sword, I think, Aaron, you were saying, like, well, you don't have to reload. Like, yeah. that's dead on. Like, that's the idea is that uh, Rita had gone through so many iterations where ammo became a thing that she just made it so that she had always had a sword. She could, like, get rid of variables. Yeah. Well, yeah, you have a weapon at least that you can fight. Yeah. As long as you can fight with that, you're good. Mm-hmm. I wonder how many other battles she was in because she died pretty quick in this one. But they also she, did. she was come. They were coming, I guess. I don't. Th- know. That's the thing. Like in her on her day, the sword, she was probably amazing with the sword. But here, because she doesn't have the power, I mean, she's effective, but she's not going to be amazing with it because she can't I mean, just like guess what's going to happen next and stuff. Yeah. You know, so it just becomes like a sword well. in a gunfight. She did pretty well in the in the on the first day mm-hmm. when Cage was watching her kill things with a sword. Like yeah. she did pretty well as far as reactions and stuff like that. But there's so many variables. Yeah. Sometimes you just you get caught out. You get yeah. fucked. Yeah. And there's mm-hmm. nothing you can do. No. You know, something comes out of the ground and grabs you. 
you're not going to expect that. You know, you have no time to react. Mm -hmm. But no, it makes you think. Like, I wonder what what she was like with that sword on her final day. Like, it's probably amazing to see. Verdon. Yeah, yeah. So much they call her an angel. So. I always appreciate sci-fi stories with a unique take on like the hero's journey because you have like the reluctant hero, yeah. You have the mentor, like it, it really follows the structure, but it does it yeah. in an interesting way. I mean, he starts out. Yeah. I mean, he's not you know he's in the army, but he's not a soldier. You know, he's he's a advertiser. Yeah, you know? <laughs> so, and he gets none of the credit now after de defeating the stuff. Yeah, for doing anything. Though everyone's yeah. saluting him, so at least now he's back to an officer. He still has his rank. Well. Yeah, like it's important that he convinces people that about all of this because it could happen again. Yep. Someday. Or at it least could be record it thing. somewhere. Yeah, I just don't know how like, you go about At least that. you're the crazy guy. Well, I mean, that he, no one believed. Well, now he still has all the information about like the general and stuff. Maybe he's well, able to get with Rita, get with the scientists, and actually perform some type of presentation that people might believe. I mean, he also can theoretically just keep going back in time too. Yeah. Like it's possible. Find a way we're, to we're ignorant of what the Omega can do. I mean, we only really know what the Alphas can truly do. Sure. But that's also just a limited understanding. Maybe they can do way more, and we just don't know more about their power base. Yeah. Like, if he could rewind time back to the beginning of the invasion and yeah. cut it off before mm -hmm. it really gets a foothold. Like could he do that? Could it be a time war in which you win by it never starting? Yeah. That would be interesting. Like, I really thought what was going to happen was... He was going to die, he was going to go back, but he was going to be like a baby. Mm. Yeah. Like he was going to be born. That would be like crazy. Like a true reset. Like little Tom Fuck, Cruise. that would be annoying. Just, wah, Tom, wah. Like just Tom Cruise's face on a baby's body. <laughs> Rita! Because at least when he resets at the beginning of that day, like, you have a start point of where it starts getting really important. Yeah. yeah. Like, there's so many things about your life that if you knew you were going to do them and Mm -hmm. tried to make it better or change your mind or something like that. Sure. Even just knowing that you're going to do it can alter how your life goes. Also, it, yeah, you, you just don't right. end up there and you yeah. missed out on all your opportunity to, to save the planet. <laughs> Absolutely. You know, we have to also kind of like guess that the like the variables that you're having to like go through every single part of the day, every single second is going to be vastly different yeah. as yeah. it goes on. So, you know, but the idea of like going back to his birth, it would be funny if it was like he's a baby, but with like his full, fully grown mind. You know, he just can't like he doesn't have motor function, and he like, maybe can't form thoughts like or to express them, but he has them. That would just be kind of crazy to like be raised that way, sure. and like your first word is like Rita or something. You know, <laughs> once you can speak. I guess he could always do a transfusion, but like the dark ending to this would be he gets the Omega blood mm -hmm. and he dies, it resets back to when the Omega's still alive. But like that always happens. Yeah. So like even if he lives and he dies of old age, yeah. it always just resets. Yeah. And like humanity's just in this loop forever. Yeah, that would be terrible. Hmm. Or you know, it also would suck if like you finally win the day and then like then the, the uh, William Cage alien version comes in and wins it back. You know, because it also is using this power. Yeah. And you just, again, you have that time war where they keep winning this day, and it becomes like, okay, the point where we end right here, that is day one of his next 10,000 days. Yeah. It would be, yeah, that would be crazy. Hmm. I did like that this thing can actually, like, it's aware that its power has been taken, and it gives false visions to try to lure you into a trap. Sure. That was pretty cool. Too. Well, it, like, shot him so he couldn't kill himself, and then he mm -hmm. said, like, it's after my blood, so I wonder if, like, was the alpha trying to bathe in his blood? Yeah. <laughs> or something? Like, was he yeah. trying to, like, would that alpha, know. is that the same alpha? Did he lose that alpha power? Or is that the, I Yeah, did know. it go from the beach to, like, was it commanded to go, or is it a different alpha? Yeah, like, are those alphas just dead? Because I imagine so, because, like, I guess the Omega is just Probably, dead, I think or just something? Dead. That yeah, alpha's I don't know. gone. Like, it's, yeah. I don't know. Like, he just took his ability to do that and reset back, and then that yeah. was gone. And I kind of That's like that. that. There's a that lot of like, questions we don't know, too. You know? They were like nodes, like where the Omega would control them and then they mm -hmm. would control the drones. Yeah. What would be the point of resetting time if you didn't get your alpha back? If that alpha was dead permanently, mm -hmm. but you still reverse time. Yeah. Like, 
No, I think it's happened you, enough time. You just run out of alphas. No, I think you do get your alpha back. Yeah, it's just yeah. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, they didn't have that confrontation. It's just you, time. you do, but because it reset, that alpha lost the power and it started resetting William instead. So you got William back instead of getting that alpha back. So I think if like the omega, if you kill the omega, it would reset. But because it mixed with his blood, it reset him instead. So the omega doesn't reset. William resets instead. I think. I wonder how the I thought omega... they theorized that it the omega thought that that gauge or cage rather was the alpha, not the dead alpha. So it reset, but like brought him back with his knowledge. I think that's what I just said, right? Yeah, but you said like it brings its alpha back too, which no. the alpha wouldn't be it, brought back. What you were saying before of what's the reasoning of bringing it, resetting it if the alpha doesn't come back. It does do that. But because he killed it and mixed with the blood, he is now the alpha, thus he has the power, and he gets brought back. Whereas the alpha no longer gets brought back because it's dead. So, like, because the power shifts... So, like, the what, blood acts what, like a tracking chip. What would have been brought back was that alpha, but instead now it's Cage. So that alpha is, I think, essentially dead, and Cage is brought back to life instead. I think is what happens. Yeah. So then I think the same thing with the Omega is that because the Omega died, it would have reverted back and come back to life, but because it's blood mixed with Cage, it doesn't come back and Cage comes back instead. But then the question is like, does that alpha exist in the reset? Yeah. Because if it does, it should still have its resetness because it existed before Cage interacted with it. And it should have the memory of when it got killed. Not if the power is not directly linked to the individual and linked to something else. Because everything else comes back too, and then just dies. There's also this, I mean, whatever happened is that, like, this thing died, uh, you know, in the future, and then he gets reverted back to being on the, the helicopter coming down, and then it's suddenly dead. Like, they somehow are existing or experiencing time outside of how yeah. we're experiencing. It's why I think, like, it has to be that those things die if they don't have their power. Mm -hmm. And then if they reset with the power, they just go back and they're whatever they were before. Yeah. But if they lose their power, they don't get that. I think it's how it's yeah. supposed to be. I, I feel like this, you know, if this is a game, we have two of 50 rules, you know, that we're trying to figure out, well, what is the limits, what is what is possible on that side, you know? Sure. And, like, if you had a sequel movie, like, that would dive into more rules of the yeah. whole set, probably. It's like Fate... Uh, stay night in that regard. It's like, well, we're trying to figure this out. We learn more each time, you know? Because, I mean, he also, like, he said at one point when he lost the power, he said he could feel it as if there was some kind of, like, sense or other, you know, sensory feeling you know yeah. like how, how do you how do you feel that you've lost the power what does it feel like to have the power i mean versus I, not having it so there's got to be like other reasons or like stuff out there that we're just ignorant to i wonder if it's like the thing they say where like a twin can sometimes feel what happens to another twin mm -hmm. like if that twin dies like it's a, a feeling a loss of connection yeah like arnold and danny exactly perfect dude when that happened, he lost his powers, and then Rita came in and was like, all right, let's do reset this. It's like, it almost just... <laughs> I know. That would have been terrible. <laughs> no, 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 I lost it. <laughs> uh, I wanted to look and see... Um, we did have Bill Pullman in here. Yeah. Who I really enjoy his character, but I know this is one of the, you know... I don't when know last... when he passed away. Uh, Bill Paxton. Paxton. I, Pullman oh. is the president from... Okay. Independence Day. <laughs> I was like, I'm not sure. That's Torchwood. Bill Pax. That's the Torchwood Bill guy, Pax. right? Yeah. Bill Pullman? Yeah. That's what I know him from his Torchwood. Yeah. Independence Day president? No, I don't know that. <laughs> we won't survive! I know him from Torchwood. <laughs> Why do you remember him from Torchwood? He was great, Calvin. He was great. He's a pedophile in Torchwood. <laughs> uh, that season. Okay. He passed away three years, years after this movie. Recently. Sorry. Hey, both you said something exactly I said he passed away three years after this movie was made. Gotcha. I was in a unique position to hear both of you perfectly. I had no idea what either one said. <laughs> <laughs> I want to hear what Rick said. We've had some good Japanese time travel stories recently. Yeah. 
Yeah, the uh, Operation Downfall, which is the name of this failed invasion that, you know, was really, I guess, the Alpha or the Omega's idea. Well, it sounded like they it. did the fights before and made it seem like they could win so they could entice yeah. them to a certain move that they would then ambush them and yeah. kill them all. But Operation Downfall was the name of the planned invasion of Japan if we didn't drop the bomb and they surrendered. So he kind of used that name for this story. It did feel like Beach of Normandy kind of thing of yeah, them like exactly. landing there and running through the water and the sand mm-hmm. and just to show, like, um, shit, what, what's the, is it Saving Pirate Ryan that yeah. has like the crazy yeah, yep. beach? Like it kind of had a little bit of that mm-hmm. feeling of like, you're just going through, you're seeing the destruction and just people dying and stuff yeah. and like. Yeah, it, it's, 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 it's exactly the reference they made. Like I want this to feel like Saving Private Ryan, but if you had Groundhog Day powers and we have a tone of Starship Troopers. Is kind of what that director was going for. It'd be fun to go into this movie not knowing that he comes back to life. Yeah, yeah. Because like we all at least knew that. Yeah, I think the like the Edge of Tomorrow name works to not necessarily give away that. Agreed. Versus Live Die Repeat, where yep. it it's literally like, explains to you what the premise is. Yeah. So it's really that matter of like how blind do you want to be going into it? Because I yeah. think not expecting that, and he just dies. Like, Wait, what? And he just yeah. comes back. And goes, oh. The, uh, okay. <laughs> the movie didn't do amazing in the United States. It, it's still one of Tom Cruise's like biggest movies that's not Mission Impossible. It did very well overseas, but they, you know, everybody's heard that they've had they had like a huge marketing blunder with this movie. Yeah. Where, you know, it's exactly what you want. Edge of Tomorrow doesn't describe anything, but it's kind of a generic. Uh, you know, it's not like the best grabby title, and you're kind of like, that sounds plain. Like Edge of Tomorrow. You know, I'm not gonna go see that. And people are like, no, they gotta understand. There's some really cool stuff here. It's like time and groundhog. Live, die, repeat. So then they had the tagline, live, die, repeat. And then as the weeks kept going on, the, the one t- the, the title swapped and to the point where you look at the poster, and like Aaron said, the poster is live, yeah. die, repeat. Edge of tomorrow. tomorrow. <laughs> it's like really tiny on the bottom. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's crazy. Yeah, you know, and the director insists, like, no, this its name is Edge of Tomorrow, but, you know, every streaming platform has live, die, repeat, colon, Edge of Tomorrow. So if you want to, you know, this is li- whenever this is listed, you have to go to the L's to find it, not the E's. Yeah, it's, it's tough because, like, on one hand, I might not want to know, but on the other yeah. hand, live, die, repeat is just such a better title. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. I was curious, Rick, like, in this one here, because I know you had issues with Quiet Place, how did you feel about, like, the setup of this as to what the aliens are versus that one? Um, Both with Emily Blunt. Both yeah. with Emily Blunt. <laughs> I just know, like, last time on, on the Quiet Place, he was like, uh, we could have just killed him before, right? Sure, the sound. So I was, I was curious on what your thoughts were on, like... No, I mean, they certainly seem like I thought... a threat here, and, like, they were in control the whole time. The only reason that we had any sort of chance was because their DNA happened to be compatible with ours. Yeah. And, I mean, it all works. They said their weakness is humanity. Yeah. Right? It, it could be their only weakness. Yeah. Like, the beginning with the news footage and everything is super cliche. It like, is. I, I wish they Might could have, have Godzilla. found a it. better way to do it. Um, like it not, felt- not, not only do I think it's cliche, I think it actually kind of undercuts the tone of the movie. Because the tone of the movie, especially when you get into the the army stuff, and it's like, wait, they're just sending this guy out to the front lines? It feels, that feels very Starship Troopers. Yeah. But the beginning, I feel like, with the opening, really grounds it, I feel like, in a much more hard reality, as opposed to hyper-reality, like that feels like. Does that make sure. sense? Like, sure. the beginning felt more like yeah. Quiet Place, where, like, you're going through news sure. articles and kind of, like, seeing some things of, like, here's this and this. And like, this. Starship Troopers has that, like, crazy propagandist thing where it's like I'm doing my part you know or it's like you take it you can take it seriously because it's horrible the stuff's horrifying but it's also funny and kind of like on the nose this one is yeah a little campy this one's more grounded but you have stuff like them just sending him to the front line with no training and all that stuff like like why because this guy is a little petty that he was trying to blackmail you know sure and then you have like it's like where are you from you know you you know, you're from the United States. Like, no, sir, I'm from Kentucky. <laughs> you know, like that kind of stuff. I mean, it's and even J Squad, the guy that doesn't wear any clothes. You know, like it's hyper reality, but a little campy. You know, sure. I feel like the opening kind of undercuts that tone. I feel like the big difference is this weakness is so much harder to discover. Yeah. Than the other weakness. 
Yes. I agree. I mean, this is just pure luck to the point where it's happened twice. Yeah. And no one believes it. Yeah. Even when it does happen. Yeah. I mean, it's definitely a hard thing to be like, you know, if Calvin just came in here one day and like, guys, guys, you gotta believe me, I've lived this day three times already. Yeah. I'm like, Calvin, shut the fuck up. What are you talking about? Yeah, Getting tired good. of this Naruto <laughs> opening! I know. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like at some point that story is gonna be as prevalent as zombies. Mm -hmm. And it's the thing where, like, yep, nope, I'll just believe it when it happens. Exactly. Well, you have to have, like, code words and stuff, too, right? Like, the one doctor puts two behind his back every <clears throat> single time. Is he, like... Did he decide the number two all the time? Because sometimes you don't know why you pick a random number, you know? Like, the I mean, sentences, it's... sentences that you hear right before you pick a num random number might change what your random number is. Yeah. So did he? does he always pick two, regardless of who, like, you know, it's just like, if this happens again, this is how I'm going to recognize it. I'm going to always pick two. I'm, I'm going to say this information, you know? It's your personality bias. Yeah. It's also, at worst, a one in five chance. Yeah. <laughs> like, I feel like I would make something a little more specific. Well, you need to do what they did in, uh... Bruce Almighty, where it's like two, three, seven. It's like, ah! It's, ah! It's seven fingers! <laughs> yeah. That's good. Yeah, I think about, like, Starship Troopers, I keep thinking about, like, we're making new weapons, and it's like, yeah. it shows a cow, and then just, like, censored, and you just see, yeah, kind of thing. Like, it's just kind of, like, crazy stuff like that that you can get with. You know what's funny to me right now, thinking about what Rick just said, is that we have Jefferson from Legends of Tomorrow in this, right? Yeah. I think he played Ford. It wasn't his real name, but he stole that name, right? Yeah. But we had him, and then in Legends of Tomorrow, there's a Groundhog Day episode where one character, like, she goes to start trying to explain this very complicated thing. He's like, Groundhog Day? You're having a Groundhog Day? She's like, yeah. He's like, say no more. And they, he just from there he goes. He just he, believes he's it. He's always just waited his whole life for a Groundhog Day situation to happen, and he believed it and was ready. <laughs> and then we had the connection with the actor, an actor in here. <laughs> Legends, yeah, I keep saying it, like, it's not, it's not a high quality show, but I think, like, of the CW shows, it might be, it would probably be Rick's favorite show. I think so, I think it's Maybe just, not season one. It's just a thing where, like, it's campy, but it yeah. can also just, it gets away with so much, and it yeah. just works. I don't know, like, it's, it's so weird. The last episode we had this week, like, I think he would have loved it. Probably. <laughs> Fucking there was Godzilla yelling at there was. <laughs> Straight up, they, it's WB, they just had Godzilla. They, they had, just a, took a Godzilla. They had a big monster. Ah! It sounded exactly like Godzilla. <laughs> oh, man. All right. Um, what else? Do we have anything else for Edge of Tomorrow or Live, Die, Repeat? Mm. I think it's about all I got. I do like that, um, you know, when they talk about the visions, he's the first one to doubt that that vision's a real thing sure. like what if you know did you ever see it she's like i never saw it in the flesh and he's an advertiser who like you know his business his like way he thinks is like trying to get people to buy things to sure. to uh believe it's, things it's basically an advertisement yeah it's basically an advertisement i like that. that that probably is the thing that gave him the edge to be a little more skeptical about it you know well, it's like the only thing from his previous life. That but he still went worked. there and he died. No, yeah, he did. <laughs> and he was like, this was a trap. Yeah, but I like that he doubted it at least, you know? Because, like, you know, the thing is is that he starts this movie, like, his arc is crazy. He starts as a completely different or completely different person than when he ends, but there's that one element in there where I'm like, oh, that kind of works, you know? There's a little bit left in, it, in him. I don't know if he ends up a completely different person because he, he didn't have much interaction after he woke up in the helicopter. Because it could have been a dream almost. Yeah. <laughs> in the way it ended. The only thing that makes me think it wasn't a dream sure. is that he went to that base and those guys were running saying the exact same thing they said before. Yeah. Yeah. But if they had shown none of that, it was just him shaking hands with some lady that uh -huh. we didn't actually get to hear what she said before. Yeah. And, that, and it's just like, man, it's over. All right. And it ended there. Yeah. That, that could have just been a dream. It could have been. You know, like there's yeah. nothing to prove otherwise. You know, I, I like when a, uh, you know, something like this, because you could say that if this was super, super <laughs> successful, it could have been the beginning of a franchise. You could have more. What if they come back, you know? Um, what if they come back? What if he becomes the new Omega? Yeah, but, like, having all of these holes in, like, well, it doesn't make sense because of this, or I don't know what this means. Like, I, I always enjoy that. And sometimes you have a franchise open up, and they fill in those holes, and it makes sense, and you enjoy it. But I feel like oftentimes it's like, well, it's not as good when it was just a mystery, you know? Mm -hmm. So yeah. I like that. I, I enjoy the mystery in this. And I probably enjoyed it more than I watched it the first time, honestly. Because I could kind of catch things as it were, they were happening and being like, oh, interesting, cool, mm -hmm. you know? I think, too, like, because I didn't know a whole lot about this one. 
I, I think I was thinking that the whatever they were fighting was like these weird robot things, but mm-hmm. I think that's from another movie called like Oblivion or something, where they have like I remember something where like someone made a fan made video and it had these weird like floating orb things or something that yeah. they were fighting. And I think I it was think, from a movie called Oblivion. I think most I think. of what I thought I knew about this movie was, that was from movies? the trailer of that movie. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I don't know if Oblivion is also a Tom Cruise. Yeah, movie stars in Oblivion. Hmm. I want to say Morgan Freeman in something. I don't know. But, I'm not so sure. We have the power. It's not the... Um, damn, what's his name? Matt Damon. No, it's the guy from <laughs> Try to Sahara. Go Matthew uh, McConaughey? Yeah. Or are you talking about Steve? Of Jeff? Matthew McConaughey. No, okay. Steve Zahn. Steve Zahn. I'll say Jeff Zahn. Steve Zahn. Uh, Oblivion from 2013 is Tom Cruise. Mm. I haven't seen that one either. That's another one I haven't seen, but I think a lot of what Ross I was thinking this was was me thinking of that movie. I, I might be thinking the same thing. Maybe I saw that trailer, and that's... Yeah, I think... Is Morgan Freeman in it? That's why I thought this movie. He is. Okay. Aaron, what Star Wars movie? Because I kept waiting for Morgan also... Freeman. <laughs> like, Morgan Freeman's not here. Do what? And also Jamie Lannister. Oh, okay. Hmm. Nikolai. Wouldn't it be crazy yeah, if, okay. like... Yeah, that's what I thought this movie One was. of the times he wakes up, you just hear, like... On your feet, Margaret. Yeah. <laughs> he just randomly is Morgan Freeman. I'm like, what happened? <laughs> what happened? What changed? How's it different? Uh, Calvin, what would you think of this movie since you love Tom Cruise? Yeah, what would you think of Tom Cruise? Um, don't get anybody wrong. I don't like Tom Cruise, mm-hmm. but I felt like this wasn't the typical, like, Tom Cruise is the best at everything. Agreed. Like, I felt like he had to struggle. Yeah. And that made me enjoy watching him on screen more. Mm-hmm. Or did, not did, less did it help him say. dying over and over? <laughs> that that was also very enjoyable. I loved the part where he's he just got hit by a truck, and then, <laughs> and then it immediately cuts to him like getting out of the way of the truck. Yeah, I love that. That's one thing. It's like I like that because yeah. that added some comedic timing to this stuff. But yeah. then like they don't waste much time having to watch all the way back through it again to get sure. to that point. They just kind of like yeah. cut yeah. again. It was like all right, he learned. Yeah, and I, you know I get what you mean when when it comes to like his. He, he does have, like, a certain ego when it comes to wanting to keep pushing the limit of the stunts that he does and stuff like that. I mean, I, I like it. I think it's crazy. I, obviously, he's a crazy person. You know, we know about his very well-known beliefs and stuff like that. But I think you got to be crazy to be good at stuff sometimes, too. Sure. You know? Like, he, you know, you see him in interviews and stuff, and I'm like, this guy's fucking insane. But, like, he's a hell of an actor, you know? And he really commits to a lot of the stuff. They talked about how like this suit that they're wearing is a real thing. He was did not want to do CG stuff. He wanted to make sure it looked like it was. And I thought it looked pretty pretty good. Yeah, it looked pretty good. Um, but it was like 90, 95 pounds to be able to do all this stuff. And yeah, he was all up for it. But Emily Blunt was like, "Well, I'm gonna fucking do it too." You know, ninety pounds for hers, little. It's a little more than for Tom well, her Cruise. Her suit also looked a little smaller. It's a little smaller. It didn't look quite the same. But when they had to come in and do reshoots, she actually was pregnant. Um, but it was in the early stages, and they hadn't told anybody. You, know, you don't want to tell anybody too soon in case something happens. But suddenly she went from being super gung-ho to do all of her stunts just like Tom to she didn't want to do them. And Tom, who you know is, as we saw in that one video recently where he's yelling at people like, he has a lot of control over the set. He's usually executive producer of his movies. And he's, he, he's like, Winter's like, why are you suddenly just not doing these stunts? Like, some of this stuff is so good because they can see us doing it. Why aren't you doing it? So the only people in the world that knew that she was pregnant was her, her husband, John Krasinski, and Tom Cruise. <laughs> and then suddenly he's like, all right, nope, she's not doing them. Get it. And she, he, like, made it so that she had all these stunt doubles and stuff now, you know? So... Anyway, um, but yeah, I, I get you. Like, I really enjoy how much he commits into a, a movie, but, you know, I do have to like, roll my eyes sometimes when I see him in interviews and stuff. Like, dude, shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Seth Rogen just had a thing where he talked about, like, yeah, fucking Tom Cruise tried to give me a Scientology. Like, real hardcore. <laughs> You know, dodge a bullet there. <laughs> <laughs> That's such a goofy laugh. I know. <laughs> Uh, Let's talk about these very like serious and yeah. What's your favorite Tom Cruise movie? My favorite? Well, it's anybody's. Last Samurai. Last Samurai would be my favorite. Yeah. Yeah. I think that must be it. Hmm. The Mummy. Oh, 
Fuck you. <laughs> um, what would be my favorite Tom Cruise movie? I'm trying to think of all the Tom Cruise movies. You haven't Cruise seen movies. that most Mission Impossible either, have you? Maybe. I've only seen the first two Mission Impossible. Oh, dude, that one was so good. Henry Cavill. I don't know. It was so funny. You got Jerry Maguire, you got... Uh, I never really watched Jerry Maguire. I've kind of seen Rain Man. Rain Man's good. Um, I haven't seen I've the... I have seen a lot of his. I haven't seen the one where they're young in court. A few oh, good men. Man. A few yeah, good men. Yeah, where they're just like, I am the last... That whole thing, whatever I want the truth. You can't handle the truth. That's it. That's the, the one. Yeah, not the dragon. I am the last one. <laughs> <laughs> Jack Nicholson, Sean Connery. <laughs> <laughs> Um, That's hilarious. Oh man, I want to hear Jack Nicholson in that army suit. <laughs> I am the last one! <laughs> Risky business. Uh, I don't know if I've really seen that. Oh, I haven't seen that one. I, I mean, I've seen, I've seen like the more bigger seen moments and stuff. Um, I come in Tropic Thunder. Seen... Tropic? Yeah, yeah <laughs> I do <laughs> like him a lot in that. <laughs> in what? Tropic Thunder. Oh yeah. That might be my favorite role of his, maybe. And yeah. He's not it's not a huge role, but it's good. That hilarious. might be my favorite movie with him in it. Yeah. Um Top Gun's okay, but I mean honestly a lot of the, a lot of the Tom Cruise movies I don't remember. Vanilla Sky I had no idea when I watched it what the hell was going on. Yeah. Whole time. I haven't seen Vanilla Sky. No What's idea. The, I was uh, also younger. I might understand better if I watched it now. Was it Thunder Road? Is that what it is? Uh, uh, the one racing. The, the race car driver. Yeah. Days of Thunder, that's what it is. Days of Thunder. I don't think I've seen Thunder very many Road, Tom Cruise else. movies. You know? Yeah. Think about it. Like I'm just trying to think of like all the Tom Cruise movies that I can think of, and you ever see that video where he salutes a portrait of Elron Hubbard? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> no. Why? Because he's Scientologist's gr greatest celebrity. I haven't seen Jack Reacher. I haven't seen Oblivion. I've seen Jack Reacher. It was very gratuitous. Rock of Ages, Night and Day, Valkyrie. I've seen Valkyrie. Lions for Lambs. War of the Worlds, I think I've seen that one. That's a good one. I like that. Valkyrie's pretty good. I haven't seen Last Samurai. Have you seen oh, Austin Powers Gold Member. Remember that? Yeah. <laughs> he, I he, do remember he that. He plays Austin. Yeah. He plays Austin in the Austin Powers movie. Oh, yeah. Okay. yeah. In the movie, yeah. he's Austin Powers. And then Powers. Fucking Kevin Spacey is Dr. Evil. Yeah. <laughs> and Danny DeVito's mini me. I remember that. Yeah. yeah it was funny. Um, Minority Report, Vanilla Sky. Minority Report is really good. Magnolia. Eyes Wide Shut. The movie, about the movie, sounds better than the movie. Interview with a Vampire, <laughs> The Vampire Chronicles. The Interview Fur. with a Vampire is good. Interview with a Vampire Days is Days of Thunder, good. Born on the Fourth of July, Rain Man. Cocktail. I've seen Cocktail. Cocktail. <laughs> I've seen Rain Man. The Color of Money. Legend, All the Right Moves, Whiskey Business, Losing It, The Outsiders, Taps, Endless Love. You know, the, the, yeah, I haven't seen a lot of these, honestly. The, the crazy thing is, is like, you know, he's he isn't well known for a lot of his action movies. And in terms of being an action actor, who's had a longer career? You know, like you've had Arnold, but how long did Arnold have Kirk compared Douglas. to, huh? Kirk Douglas. Kirk Douglas. Hmm. How long did he have? I mean, do you count Ant Man and Wasp? Uh, he doesn't do any action in them. Sure. Oh, he didn't do action in fucking cocktail. <laughs> yeah, man, he fucking in the he does this. He played volleyball. <laughs> no, he doesn't. Tom, Top Gun. It's Top Gun. Sean Top Gun was <laughs> in League of Extraordinary Gentlemen. Uh huh. So he was That's true. in action for a while. Are you yeah. just looking at who's the longest running like action? I'm just saying, like he's still like leading man in a lot of like just straight up action stuff. And how old is he right now? Yeah, he's know. in his. He has to be in his fifties, right? According to IMDb, his lowest rated movie is Cocktail. Yeah, which I was like, oh, interesting. Isn't that the one where he slides in with his underwear? That's risky business. Oh damn, Jesus! Jackie Chan. Cocktails when he's making cocktails. Still making movies. He's fucking doing this shit. I, probably, I imagine probably, him doing that shit in his underwear too. He probably really learned how yeah. to do that shit too. Oh yeah, right? of course. Right. I mean, it was back yeah. in the eighties, but I don't know. Yeah. It's probably Jackie Chan. Jackie Chan. Yeah, Jackie Chan was young and he foreigner. He's doing his own shit in there, mm -hmm. you know. Like, yeah, I'm going yeah, Jackie. I'm going Jackie, Jackie, my boy. I'm some more Jackie than I'm Tom Cruise. I like Jackie so much more. Calvin. Guys, thank you very much for watching this movie along with us. Remember, you can go to patreon.com slash blindwave. Help vote for the next uh, poll pick. We have uh, usually a list of five movies over there, and we do it every other week. Five Tom Cruise movies. Ooh, that will be the next one, right, Calvin? I haven't seen, like, any of them, oh. so that'd be good. This I've is, got my Tom Cruise for the year. 